What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another EVE Online video. This is going to be going over my favorite ship, probably one of my favorite ships, is the Orca, and it's solo, you know, mining with the drones, right? Probably one of my favorite activities as far as mining is concerned. Now, obviously, this is not going to be the best yield that you'd get in le if you were, like, running a Hulk with boost or whatever, but if you're like me and you just, like, rolling out one ship and throwing some drones out and just kind of, like, putting it on a screen and letting it kind of do its thing... This is uh this is for you, right? So my fit hasn't changed a whole lot in the recent years, more so with like the new compression changes and the uh, siege module. I do still kind of run boost just in case I have someone on grid with me, or if I want to bring an alt out, um, depending on what I want to want to do, it just kind of helps me stay ready to go. But as you can see here, I'm gonna run large drone, two large drone twos, and then a large drone or large drone mining augmenter one. And then you have your industrial core two, and then I have my large asteroid or compressor, and then I'll run two mining foremen, and then one shield burst, and then the drone link augmenter. As far as the charges, I usually run mining field laser or laser field enhancement, and then laser optimization. I don't run preservation just because with residue now, I just don't think other than uh, Mercoxes where you have to use crystals, I just don't uh I don't recommend running modulated for much of anything. For the mid slots, I just run large shield extender twos and then multi-spec twos and then a single survey scanner. You don't have to run survey scanner, you can run anything else you want here, but I kind of like just running it and playing with numbers since this is kind of a slow process. That's kind of like my my fidget spinner. And then for the tank, reinforced bulkhead two and then a damage control, right? And then I'll you know sim this so you can see everything. I'll run, you know, depending on what area I'm in, I'll just run light combat drones. So in this fit, I have warrior twos and then I have um, the augmented mining drones. I carry extras just in case something happens to one of them. It doesn't, you know, because you can be out of grid a long time with compression now. So um, I don't want to have to like stop my little like, you know, semi AFK mining just to go if I lose a single augmented. So I carry an extra set. And as you can see here, with it simulated, you get before the compression changes, before the siege module, right? You used to get. 333 m3 every minute per drone now if you siege you actually get more you know you get 340 per drone per minute which is really good and then um obviously now the uh orca has its own you know fuel bay and stuff like that that we use to put our heavy water in for our siege module i actually enjoy this quite a bit because whenever i was orca mining um a few years ago my biggest goal was to like you know get a roar gold do x cav siege drone mine high yield and all that um that's not really the you, there's not an environment really that you can do that effectively in um, but now you kind of can do that in high sec or whatever with the orca having its own siege module i've been out here and you know you used to you could like kill an entire belt or a belt and a half and then you had to go empty or whatever um, on a big rock day, you know, you could maybe like fill up a couple times on a belt. And now, I mean, you can fill up so much ore into this orca now just because of compression. Now I'll show you how this works here. So I'm just going to turn on the asteroid or compressor one. And then I usually just select all in here and, you know, hit compress. It opens up a box here that you can then process it. I actually keep all my compressed ore in the plate hanger. Just because it gives me a little, another little like process stack to go off of there. Um, and like what I'm doing now is I'll just, you know, roll in and, you know, kind of get in the middle of the hook or, you know, you have a lot of asteroids around me to where the drones can kind of like, I pretty much mine everything within five, five kilometers, right? And then before I start moving. But to give you an idea about movement, because, you know, you do have to come out of siege in order to move. What I'll do is like if these rocks or this area is about to be mined out and I want to like move to say over here, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'm siege, but I'll go ahead and like put my movement command in, right? You can see that little blue line there. And so what I'll do here is I'll go ahead and um, down siege and we got to take care of these rats as well anyway while we're doing this. And it's, I'll show you this kind of how this goes with all these warriors out so they can take care of them. But so what will happen is I'm already pre-aligned to my destination. And so what will happen is once I come out of siege, as you see, I'll start speeding up, right? And depending on how far away you are from where you want to be, I'm going to go for like 15 and then I'm going to siege again. And what will happen is by the time we actually stop, we'll be relatively close to where we wanted to be. If you really want to like not worry about rats, 
you really just want to kind of put this on a screen and like AFK mine for real. What I usually do with like moons and stuff like that or bigger rocks is I'll just put out like another. There's another strategy I'll do. I'll put out like four. So I'll launch four of the, of the mining drones and I'll launch one warrior. And I won't do anything with the warrior. I'll just let him sit there. And what that does is if a rat comes in and attacks me, then all it'll do is it'll kill everything because high sec rats are not tough at all. I'm, yeah, I'm only running like four mining drones, but I also have, don't have to worry about rats. I don't have to worry about sucking anything in. It could take a long time to right? You know, if you compress, if you like just sit here out here and mine and your goal is to like not come back until you're just completely full of compressed ore. It, I'll basically fill up this entire orca and then I'll show you, um, give you an idea of what the, uh, the value is, right? You can carry quite a bit of heavy water as well, so, you know, that's not really a big issue. You know, you might get close to running out, um, you know, but I don't carry just, I don't carry just, uh, what's in my fuel bay, right? I carry more in my cargo hold, so I have, like, I usually carry, like, 70 and then, you know, fill up the, the, uh, the fuel bay as well. So if it gets low, I'll just feed it out of the cargo bay. It's definitely something you want to do. Like, you want to make sure that... You've got uh, plenty of heavy water because that's kind of the bread and butter. I mean, like if you're not sieging, your drones are doing like 190 something M3 every minute, which is really, really slow. What we'll probably do is like since we hit that rock, invisible rock, normally what we do is we like go for the other cycle and then, you know, reset. Another thing I want to like touch on too is like the Rorkel's, um siege module is like five minutes. This one's only 150 seconds, so it's not as bad. And so, like, if you, you know, miss a line or whatever, you know, wait two and a half minutes and you can, you know, do it again, which is what we'll do here. And if you time it right with the compressor, you know, if you, like, just down siege, go to, like, 20, you know, meters a second, then siege again, the compressor won't actually stop unless it cycles. If the cycle completes when the siege module is off, then it'll stop. But you can actually just keep the compressor moving. As far as what to mine with this setup, um, I usually used to just go after just Veldspar. Um, and just tried to like, you know, fill the Orca completely up with belts bar. But now that you can like compress and fit so much, I usually just kind of get out on one of these belts and just fill it up completely. I just take everything, you know, scordite, you know, all of it. Right. And if you're in like, you know, low sec, you just pick up all the stuff you need and don't worry about it too much. I'm embarrassed about how much time it took to actually do this and I'm not sure exactly why I decided to actually do it but it's done and it's a lot right it's you fill it up and it's like 2.2 right it's like 2.2 bill worth of compressed storage you can fit in the uh, orca so suffice it to say if with the new compression you go out of orca mining you don't have to worry about docking or stopping because you run out of space. You got plenty. Um, even if you mined from like reset to reset, you're you're not going to get close. Um, just with you know the slower than the slower and lower yield of the mining drones. If you're out there with like hulks and stuff, like with like six or five hulks, and yeah, you could probably knock it out. You have to go through a lot of belts uh, to do it. But it's nice to know that unlike before, you don't have to actually like come off grid all the time and go to station in order to offload you have a, a lot of space a lot of space i don't recommend flying around with 2.2 billion in compressed ore um i had a few close calls but i mean i had to do it i just wanted to i challenged myself and it took a while but it's done so i'm actually really pleased with the, how the orca is now um I know when the mining changes first came out, they had lowered the yield of the drones and it you know, came back up. Compression is something I really like for the Orca. It makes uh, high sec mining a lot more um, a lot more enjoyable for me just because I can go out there and just kind of like, you know, put drones on a rock and just, you know, not worry about, you know, filling up so quick and all that stuff. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, uh, like I said, I put the appraisal for this stuff in the uh, description as well as to fit. And 
uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.